Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your October 11th through the 20th, 2018 reading for you. Now, I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards off camera. This is just one last good shuffle to get everything all set for you guys. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Okay. Let's see what October 11th through the 20th has in store for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. All right. Now don't get afraid. Don't be afraid by seeing the Tower and the Three of Swords. It seems as if October 11th through the 20th, not only for you, but for so many signs so far, have been is a time of transformation, of struggle and perseverance. And that is what you're doing here. You have three major arcana cards, all neatly lined up in a row. These are the big arcs of, of these 10 days. You have a gift coming to you. Make sure you take it, all right? Yeah. Okay, your first card is the temperance card. This is balance. This is coming into balance and harmony with yourself. This is going deeper and deeper into your spirituality, no matter if you follow a dogmatic religion or not, or any religion at all, it doesn't matter. This is you learning your truth, learning your prosperity of self. And I love this card because she looks like the little mermaid. And I think that's absolutely beautiful with her hair flowing out and her dress with all the scales on it. She's going deeper and deeper into her personal truth. She's already submerged in the water and she's going deeper into the well. The angels are with her, guiding her, leading her forward. Follow the guidance that you intuitively know that you are getting, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Embracing your prosperity, embracing yourself, embracing your truth. There might be, for some of you Cancers out there, there might be a sense of kind of always feeling as if you're holding back, not fully embracing the beauty that is you and you're stopping that. You're sitting there and saying, you know what, I have X amount of heartbeats, X amount of steps that I'm going to take on this earth and I'm going to make every single one of them count by being fully and authentically me. That's what this temperance card is saying to me. It's finding that balance, it's finding that truth within yourself, moving yourself forward. And it's embracing your strength. And you might sit there and say, Dane, I'm not strong at all. But I am telling you, you have an iron spirit, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You have that strength that maybe people overlook, right? Because it's not a brute force strength. It isn't a throwing a hissy fit strength. It is a, I am determined to do this, and I am going to work at my task till it is done. And your task here is embracing your prosperity, embracing your truth, knowing your mind, and not letting people steal it from you. Not knowing your mind, yeah, not letting people steal you living the life that you were born to live. In the Rider White Tarot deck, it is a woman embracing a lion. Here, it is a man, it is a knight riding alongside a boar. Both images represent two enemies coming together through kindness, through collaboration, through teamwork. And this is the balance within yourself, okay? Coming together. The warring side of you. There is a Native American story about how two wolves live inside us, live inside us as human beings. One feeds on anger and negativity and rage, and the other feeds on love and joy and prosperity. And they're warring within us because they're both hungry and they both need to be fed. And the wolf that survives is the wolf that you feed. And that's what these cards are telling you. You're finding the balance within yourself and you are embracing your inner strength. You're embracing your tenacity of spirit and you are moving forward because you have here the two of pentacles. You have this endless prosperity, but you have trickery and you feel off balance in your life and your emotions are raging. Of course they're raging. You have the tower card here and you're feeling off kilter. You're feeling as if, oh my gosh, I don't know. 
But the thing is, is that you do know. You do know your prosperity. Cancer, sun, moon, or ascendant. You have to have the faith within yourself to embrace it. And don't let these people knock you off your game. Don't let these people take away that prosperity from you because you are moving forward in this endless prosperity is your existence. It is filled with endless prosperity. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. Calm your emotions because you're going deeper and deeper into yourself. You're finding that balance after this time of rage, after this time of doubt and fear and sorrow and thinking, oh my gosh, I can't. I can't move forward. I can't go on. But you can. And you do. Because you have this endless prosperity here. And it's worth pointing out numerous times. Because you are not somebody who doesn't have luck on their side, who doesn't have faith on their side, however you word it, however you say it. You are the type of person who has this prosperity with them and who is moving forward. Don't let other people make you doubt that. Don't let other people knock you from your truth, knock you off your game. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. Make sure that you are secure within yourself and move forward because God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you this gift of knowing your own mind, of blessing your own mind. You are moving forward in victory of thought. And think of it as the seasons too. Fall and then winter, spring, I mean summer and then fall, however you want to see it. Here, you are moving forward in your prosperity of thought. Your mind is crowned by majesty. Make sure you take this gift because with the ace cards, they're gift cards. And you can deny it. You can deny your brilliance. You can sit there and say, no, I'm not worthy. I'm not that smart. I'm not that great. I'm not that talented. This ace of swords is saying that you are. You are that smart. You are that great. You are that talented. Seize it. And use your mind like the weapon that it is to cut down those people who are doubting you and fearing that you succeed, that are looking and being jealous of your endless prosperity. Does this mean violence? No, not at all. When I say cut down, I mean show them. What is, it, what is the saying? The best revenge is success. Show them your success. And it doesn't have to be that you are now famous and on television and everybody knows your name. It means that you are successful within the life that you are creating. Because to be happy, to enjoy your life, to sit there and enjoy the world that you have created for yourself is so much more than most people ever do with themselves. And then you have the four of pentacles, your feet firmly planted on the ground when once you are unsteady. Guarding your solar plexus, you know that there is hurt and pain out there and you've been through the hurt and through the pain. And now you are embracing your prosperity and you're guarding your solar plexus and you are moving forward. You are moving forward protecting yourself and protecting what it is that you love and knowing that no one is going to take that away from you. Even though at times you have here the Three of Swords, even though at times you feel overwhelmed, betrayed, sorrowful, okay? You fear, feel at times worthless. And what that means when you feel worthless is that you feel worth less than everybody else around you. And that's not true at all. You are worth so much more than at times that you feel. And by this I mean, there's a sense of doubting yourself, of fearing your success, of fearing moving forward because you have been so hurt and so devastated in the past that you're sitting there saying, you know what, no, I don't wanna do it again. I don't wanna go out there and just be trampled on again. But what you do is you embrace this fear, you embrace the sorrow, you sit there and you mourn it. Hey, too often we push it down and we say, oh no, you just keep on going. Just keep on running away from your shadow. You'll be able to outrun it. You'll never be able to outrun your shadow, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Embrace your pain. Sit there and say, yes, I have been wronged in the past. I have been wronged in the past. And you have been. You have been hurt. You have been betrayed. You have been lied to. You have been devastated. But you're not letting them win because the best way for them to win is for you to not live to your full potential, and you are. 
So this is feeling beaten up, let down, and hurt. And this is saying, you know what? I will never give up on me because you will never give up on yourself, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Even though here you have the Tower Energy as your clarifying card, okay? As one of your clarifying cards, you have your emotions raging, you have this karmic deck coming in, and you have this feeling of just, it's just all too much. You're like, oh my gosh, really, seriously, I did not need this right now because you didn't, but it came anyway. And for some of you, this is going to be small. This can be a day of feeling, you know, miserable or an hour. For others of you, this is going to be a battle that you fight for the whole 10 days, and maybe even longer, because time is flexible with the cards. But you are embracing your prosperity. This here, this turning up of emotions, this feeling as if you've been struck by lightning, this feeling devastated and as if it came from nowhere, and oh my gosh, is a karmic debt, and it's being paid. And once it's done, this is like a huge storm coming in. Think of it even as a tornado warning, okay? You don't know, is the tornado going to hit? Is it not going to hit? Are you safe? Are you not safe? You know, you're terrified. It could even be that you went on holiday, you know, and you came to this place, this happened to me, and there's a tornado warning and you have the top floor. And you think, oh, that's lovely. You are not letting this take away from your joy, take away from your bliss and your happiness. You're sitting there and you're waiting out the storm. Does the tornado hit? Does it not hit? Because this could be something smaller than what you're expecting. Or this could be something big. But it is a karmic lesson that is wiping away that debt from you. And you are going to move forward. And you're going to sit there and be like, wow. And it might not happen right away. Usually it doesn't. You go, wow. That lesson changed everything for me. That one moment changed everything. And now you're looking at the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. You're moving forward in your passion, in your desire, and you're embracing your truth. And nothing is stopping you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, from achieving your goals. Okay, here we go. You're guarding yourself. You've been through pain and sorrow. You have endless prosperity, but people have been jealous and your emotions have been raging. You're moving forward with that inner strength, that inner strength of perseverance, that inner strength of not giving up because the universe, divinity, is handing you a gift of knowing your mind of brilliance and absolutely being able to succeed. And you're doing so with balance of self. There's a karmic debt that's being paid. You're paying it. Okay, it's going to dredge up feelings of insecurity and feelings of despair. It is. It could be for a moment. It could be for days. It doesn't matter. But once this is addressed, once you mourn what you have been through, and you keep on protecting yourself, you don't sit there and say, you know what, I'm going to just, you know, think everything is roses and butterflies and everything will be fine and nobody's ever going to betray me again. No, your emotions rage and you sit there and you realize, you know what, the first person I have to take care of is myself. And then I can take care of everybody else who needs me. But I'm taking care of myself. I'm taking care of my prosperity. I'm keeping my feet firmly planted on the ground. And I am embracing the fact that I have been through a lot. But I still have my endless prosperity, even though my emotions are raging. I still have this gift to me, this fire in my belly, this determination to succeed. And nobody can take that away from me. I'm stronger than I've ever given myself credit for and that anybody else has ever given me credit for. I know my mind. I know what I want. And I'm finding that balance, that harmony within myself. And I'm planning for the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come to live in my passion and live in my beauty. Your subconscious message is the Queen of Cups. This is you, right here. You are a water sign. You are represented by the Cups. And this is mo you moving forward in healing, beautiful love, holding the holy grail of your existence, an absolute treasure of your soul. Even though your emotions might be raging at times, you subconsciously are embracing you and knowing that no matter what, you are coming out with the divine right to live in love, joy, peace, and happiness. 
Cancer, this is amazing. I'm so happy to have been able to share this reading with you, and I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.